So Sushun is going to be releasing next week, and something very interesting has come about. Now before we do that, you know, the fire typing, we're going to be coming on hand by getting our final piece to the fire team. So I'm just going to quickly do a little run in preparations for Wave 9, because that's going to be tough as it is. But this is what I meant about what I was trying to accomplish for the longest time, um, was having a character with the solid analysis set and then still catering to the crit, uh, well, to the break set. Obviously, this is more for moi, not so much for Choi, but you guys get the idea how in a, in a water situation, how this could be extremely beneficial. So we're still effectively making good use of the, um, wait. Oh no, okay, yeah, we're making good use of the 50. For a second there, I thought I, I kind of, I thought the game was cracked for a second. I was like, wait, have I got the 8 set effect in? No. Um, and then, of course, Troy, I'm keeping up with the curse set. Needs a slight little work here and there, but it's doing the job. And, uh, yeah, Mei Lin, you guys know the deal. She's the support. She gives me attack buff, provides healing. Can't go wrong with that. Although, she does make it so that water attributes do more damage. Um, that would be a bit of a weird one. So, what really caught my attention was Mass actually replying back to someone because, I mean, at the end of the day, I understand that with the release of Emma and Choi, some people are really considering on skipping out on um, the current banner that's going to be released next week, which is the fire element, of course, uh, in preparations or furthermore preparations for next month. Because if you guys don't know, next month we're going to be having the first Arise Festival. Um, and so a lot of people do want to cater and save for that. And the thing about Mass is that, look, we know about Soyeon being uh, a ranged character, and I think that is going to be a big, big sell factor for the character herself, just being that range type of unit, which, which again, is you know, pretty solid. I didn't know she was a breaker. A fire ranged breaker. Now, hearing that, how are we all thinking about a sub DPS breaker? Uh, the reason why I'm saying sub DPS is because I feel like, you know, she's. Uh, well, I mean, realistically, what more could she do after being a breaker? Um, but if they do cater to the whole defense pen of her, being a ranged uh, unit that can work off from, you know, defense pen and reducing the enemy's defense, etc. Um, and having break because from a range breaker i mean well i mean typically speaking we could look look at limb to be honest because technically speaking he's also a range breaker i'll have to double check because i do want to see what breakage value he provides because a part of me was thinking right if, if you know if, if they are playing that range route then i assume that their breakage power would be weak um but i'm pretty sure because there is a charge up shot that limb does and I, I i can't remember if it's a medium or a heavy break because that would be huge now, truth be told, is Emma got breakage in a, in a nutshell. Yeah, I mean, I mean, let's be real. Emma Loki's kind of holding breakage down to a T. So I, I did say that, you know, leading up to the release of uh, Suyun, um, that they would have to really consider into making it so that she has a huge, huge incentive for for, for her to be a pull. Um, breakage is cool, but Emma is just. She's been handling it since day one. And when I mean day one, I'm talking about soft launch day one. So, but I can see how like range breakage can be extremely, extremely helpful. So, even though it's like we have ever, range breakage is something not to be slept on. And it really also depends on uh, the value of the breakage. To be fair, what they can do, which I mean they might do to be honest, is put the value of the breakage being pretty low, and then through the dupes maybe like on the third dupe um it makes it so that her breakage yeah, does more or possibly do what another character already has on their breakage is where um their break effectiveness goes up by a certain amount like 10 15 percent i think even on the first or second dupe that one of them one of the characters has it so they could also cater to that but i'm eager to see on how she's going to be playing out and what changes is going to be coming about now that we know that uh, a little breakage role is being played so that's fairly interesting to kind of uh, get uh, get news ahead of time, I'm ho I'm hoping that developers choose to uh, inform us, uh, preferably before the release of the character, which they probably will in some way. Probably either the developer notice or, um, of course, the uh, stream. Am I doing no damage? Hello. But uh, ooh. oh yeah, these new gear sets, bro. I'm telling you, they are doing their stuff, especially against these. Because on on sure, Battlefield of Chaos. The bears and the uh, monkeys with the mask, they're the toughest. They are the absolute toughest to beat. Woo! 
All we need now is that third unit. See, now I was wondering if we sh if if we would have gotten a support uh, fire unit. Yeah, so he's got weak break on everything. Um, the the support skills medium break, which is very standard, but um, the typhoon fire has heavy break. But the thing is, with that with that attack, there's a bit of a start up. So I assume with the sniper rifle attack that she has, if there is any type of long uh, start build, then we can expect some heavy break. If that is the case, then that is going to be massive. Um, but then again, it really depends on how long it takes to fire off the shot. So my game plan right now for the next fire character is I do want her purely because I want a full mono um, fire team and I assume and I'm guessing that with her initial kit I do think it will be beneficial uh, with how Troy and Emma work already so I think she'll she'll be a nice little fit in clearly um, but I'm in the same boat as everyone else I, I'm I'm more wanting to be prepared for the Arise Festival I'm I'm more interested to see what's going to be happening there I do believe um, that you know, it will be a certain typing that seriously needs to be catered to, aka wind typing, of course. And again, with fire typing with Troy, especially with my Troy and my Emma, with where they're at, I'm pretty comfortable with fire typing, but um, I could do with that final slot. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, again, I don't know what the dupes are going to be uh, are going to be doing. Hopefully, they're not too broken, you know, hopefully, they don't persuade me to go all in. But I think even if the dupes are somewhat Decent. I'm gonna hope because I'm gonna have a set amount of tickets going into the banner itself, and I'm just gonna hope and pray that we get lucky. If not, then it is what it is. Bring on a rise festival. I think that is gonna be my initial game plan. But it's interesting to see on the route she's gonna be taking. I didn't expect them to bring because Emma's doing a fantastic job. I, I just yeah, it, it, it'll be interesting to see on what the final outcome would be. I'm really hoping for because seeing how uh, water type and kind of how, kind of how they've handled things, I kind of want. A fire support. I feel like with them considering and I say considering they are probably going to be bucking up Troy. If you're going to be bucking up Troy being the main DPS character for today's standards or with where the get with where the standard is right now in game difficulty wise, then let's get more support going for him. I mean Emma is providing that uh, breakage. She's got damage and I guess she's she's got that support role going for herself too. But uh, if we can cater to and have something like. Min is for uh, Cheyenne, or how um, Mei Lin is kind of like for Alicia. I'm down to really push more of a defense drop, more of a big defense drop, and uh, providing more of a defense pen increase. I'm, I'm cool with that if, if, if they want to cater to that. Come on, damn it. Wave 9, and I didn't get any triangle pieces. That's unfortunate. 